It's time to check out the Liquid Metal Air Max 1 pack that released late in 2014. Now, actually, Nike released the Liquid Metal Air Maxes twice in 2014. The first time, they were only released in women's sizes, and they were released abroad. But due to their popularity, Nike decided that they could sort of sneak in a U.S. release at the end of 2014. These shoes came out and they retailed for $175 and people were happy to pay it just because finally the shoes were available in men's sizes. Now this liquid metal concept has been very popular over at Nike in men's shoes and in women's shoes. There have been liquid metal Air Force Ones, Tempo 94s made for lifestyle. Those were coming out around the World Cup and Nike just went crazy with that soccer silhouette. They even made Benassi slides which are like flip-flops, except with liquid metal, silver and gold uppers, and those are amazing. For women, they made sky highs, which are dunk highs, but with wedges in there, and those are incredibly popular. It seems like whatever they're putting liquid metal on sells out right away, and then hits the resale market for like ridiculous premiums. The concept is very cool, and the uppers are just ridiculous. We've seen metallic shoes before, and when we think about metallic Air Maxes, it's hard to not think about the Air Max 97. I'd like to actually break out a pair in the 3M Silver Upper. It's my all-time favorite pair of sneakers. I've been wearing them ever since 1997. I've always had them in my rotation. And you can see right next to one another, the 97 is a metallic shoe, and when the light hits it, it flashes back at you, whereas the liquid metal Air Max 1s really look like liquid metal. It reminds me of Super Mario 64, when Mario used to jump into those like metal ponds and walls, and the metal was just like liquid. There's really no other way to describe it. It's not really fully mirrored like those foam posits, although of course it does have a little bit of a mirrored tone to it, but it really is more of a liquid metal shoe. And let's move a pair of golds out of the way, and then of course we got to compare the gold 97, another beautiful shoe. But you can see the difference in the uppers between the liquid metal and the metallic gold or the metallic silver. Anyway, enough with my favorite 97s. Let's get them out of the way and get back into these Air Max 1s. They're just beautiful, very high quality shoe. They're really, really heavy. And Nike went all out in the detail department on this shoe. These shoes were actually inspired by the periodic table. So let's move them out of the way. Of course, you know I have the periodic table on display underneath the boxes. I've always said that the shoe Zeum is really a springboard. It's not just about shoes and Nike. It's a springboard to learn all about everything in the whole world. And in this case, we can learn about science and chemistry. And I really can't imagine a more fun way to do that than with these cool shoes. So there you have it, the periodic table of elements, and that's the inspiration for these shoes. Let's start over here with the silver. Look at the upper. Ridiculous, right? But look at the details on the tongue. It says AG, which is the abbreviation for silver, and the shoes have the atomic number and the atomic mass on there. What a cool detail. And then of course, let's have a look at the gold, and you know the case is gonna be the same there. Look at this upper, liquid metal, baby. But here, have a look at the tongue, and you can see right there, the atomic number, the element, and the abbreviation for gold. Nice touches, Nike. Nike really went all out on these shoes. You know they go all out on shoes when they put the little cardboard stick in there. They got that from Cole Haan. For a while, Nike owned Cole Haan, and really nice Cole Haan dress shoes have that cardboard stick in there. Nike's done it with some Jordan Retros as a part of the remastered line, and they did it here with these $175 Air Max 1s. I want to focus on some more details of this shoe really quickly. Look at that right there. Just look at that, it's just gorgeous. Liquid metal. The laces on these are incredible. They're very glittery. Sort of reminds me of the Nike Disco, which was recently retroed as a tailwind. But you can see the glitter in the laces. And also have a look at those speckled midsoles. 
that's going to be the biggest difference between the late 2014 release and the early 2014 women's release is the women's ones don't have the speckles on there. I want to show you the gold laces. We got to look at the gold glitter. Look at that. Boom. And then the speckled midsole again. Also not a feature of the first release just for women. So there you have it, the periodic table. Here I am buying shoes and then I'm going on Wikipedia and I'm learning all about science and the periodic table. And this is what I did when I built the shoeseum. Every shoe, I would look it up and I would learn all about not just the shoe, but about the inspiration behind the shoe. And I learned so much about so many random things, like I can't even begin to tell you. Anyway, the only thing left to do is break out the liquid gold, made my own little Petri dish here, put our little gift card right on there, shake it on up, and we'll open it up. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh, I'm a little nervous, a little shaky. It's not every day I have liquid gold in my hands. Here I come. Maybe put this right behind here. Move this out of the way. Not going to lie. It's not every day I've got liquid gold in my hands. But I'm doing it. Here we go. Smells like a Air Jordan 11. Boom, look at that. Liquid gold. Liquid gold. 